Hello Zivers, I'm your Ziv teacher Zuzu. And before to start, congratulations, we finally released 2.5 uh, version of Ziviv and there are three new big features. The first one is exporting an FBX plus MC. And the second one, we add uh, our new advanced avatar so you can custom your after pose and custom your avatar size as well and more specifically and the third one is grading in this video we are gonna just learn how to export fbs and fbx plus mc so before to start let's bring our zls file which has outfits in it so go to file tab and i will just open zls what i made before for you guys so here is fbx export zls as you can see this um outfit is already arranged on avatar so let's start simulation It is pretty nice. So let's export FBX. Uh, go to File tab and you could see Export and there is FBX. And then you could see three options Smooth, Thickness, and Export Avatar. Uh, the smoothing uh, means uh, you can choose smooth your meshes or not. And the thickness means uh, you want to show the thickness of outfit or not. And the second one is of course uh, you can choose export the avatar or without avatar. But today uh, I'm just gonna check everything and I will click OK. Then you can see save FBX file tab. I'm just gonna uh, choose this folder and name would be anything put um, FBX test uh, so we've exported FBX so let's check in other program like Maya here is Maya and let's see this Okay, nothing problem. And then go to file paths that we exported. And then you could see FBX test FBM. And this file has every our textures that you used in ZLS. So you can uh, adjust these textures in the shader as you want. So finally, this is the uh, end of how to export FBX. So next one is how to export FBX plus MC. I already prepared custom avatar with animations and the walking animation. And let's see how it works. Yeah, she's really slow, so I'm just gonna change the avatar speed, reset the simulation, and maybe 70%. Uh, and let's go file tab and export. Under the FBX, you can see FBX plus MC. And there is basic options. If you export FBX plus MC in this condition, the MC file will memorize your animation from with this point. So let's do this. And then if you click OK, then you could see this uh, exporting file path like before. I will choose this folder.
so not to make make this video too long I'm just gonna finish in here if you want to finish your uh, simulation and exporting then you can click reset and let's go other program to check FBX let's delete this one and then I will bring the scene that I exported just right before then you could see the FBX plus MC file memorize from the moment that you started your simulation Let's click it. So it works pretty well. This FBX plus MC remember the simulation in 3D view, so it is exactly the same with the 3D view, right? Yeah. And let's go back to Zivi. Okay, there is start after draping time option. Then this uh, FBX MC will be exported uh, just after draping time so you don't need to wait for draping process to export your FBX plus MC which uh, frame you want to finish your exporting the duration means when do you want to finish your export the FBX MC like until end of after animation then you could exactly finish exporting end of after animation or if you have exact uh, frame like 50 no 100 then you could finish to export at the moment which is 100 frame and there is also FPS options, which means frames per second. So you could choose a lot of options in here. I'm gonna choose 24. So let's check like this way. Okay. Then you can make, then you should make new folder for this. After. draping time so let's see how it works so from now on you could see at the bottom of the 3d view there is saving animation fbx plus mc and, and the frame is ongoing till 100 frames So 
Finally, this exporting is ended and the simulation is stopped at 100 frames. Let's see in Maya. If you go with the file paths that you exported, then you could see sin FPC. Then uh, in it, then you can see the MC file like this way, right? and then you could see your material that you used in here. Yeah, and that's it. So last one is you could pinch your outfit during exporting FBX MC. So let's go to file tab and you could see FBX MC. I just gonna I'm just gonna export like this way and you need to choose file path here and then this exporting is just started I will pinch a little bit And reset let's go Maya and check it so these are the FBX plus MC that I exported just right right before um, let's play and you could see my pinching here is my pinching and here is my pinching so yeah so those are our export fbx and fbx plus mc so as you know with fbx and with animation you could do a lot of works like um, showing animation with good render or another creative animation with FBX plus MC with our Zivit. So, so if you wonder the next big feature, then subscribe our channel and see you in next time. Bye.